and welcome to this episode of What Horse Celebration is getting here in a hurry. Yes, it is. Got Very one week. Quick. Yes. You ready? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> I've, I've been out there. I know y'all still hustling around. That's right. Tell you what, you better do your job right quick so we can come back and get everything done. We'll be right back after these commercials. You got it. <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on Brain Bower in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Doe Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on the first night out. Allie Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Allie Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd, when the world grand champion Tennessee walking horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 6 845915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> You know, uh, Jerry, we got quite a bit of video and th things to discuss, but before we do, I want to uh, let everybody know that we we lost uh, 
a good person, yes. very good person. Yes, she was. Diana Cruz has has uh, she she's a hard person to beat. Yes. Yeah, she was a uh, real nice lady. When when the good Lord made her, He threw away the mold because she was definitely one of a kind. Yes. <laughs> she done her share of winning too. Yes, she did. Yeah. I can remember when she won her first world championship, I believe it was on Capital One. She, uh, people thought she had won a bunch, but her horses had, but she never had. But she was, uh, for those she called friend, she was a true friend. She was she, very good in the celebrated world too. Oh Lord, yes. She will be missed, there's no doubt about that. She was one of a kind, yes. no doubt about mm -hmm. it. I, I will, I will miss her friendship because she always had something to say. Yes, always. Well, I tell you, we've got a lot that we're going to be going over. But uh, one of the things that, and we've talked about this many, many times, is all the different avenues for our horse. And we've got a couple of. Well, it's a father son, but like you, we've got Justin Todd and Jackson Todd that train these trail horses, but they get them, they're getting them to do the obstacles, which this is something that's, that's real important to this industry because we've got so much different competitions yes. and one of them is the, the obstacle courses. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to have a lot of patience to do this right here and they, they seem like they have a lot of patience with them horses and calm and easy with them and teaching them different things. Well, I watched them as a, a lot of times they will walk them through it and then ride them through it. But like that right there, now he's up there doing that and doesn't have a bridle on that horse. That's a, he's barebacking up yes. with a halter. Mm -hmm. So that, that goes to show that once, once they get trained, it's... Tennessee Walking Horse is just something else. He says it's it's a lot of fun to train them. Uh, he said he just he enjoys it all. And Jackson, he claims Jackson's got glue in the seat of his pants because he says when he gets on one, it's hard for him to get him off. <laughs> but I know they they do a fantastic yeah. job. But now you, you've got a client at your barn now. Uh, where I know you moved up to Blackhawk for your performance horses and show horses, your boarding, boarding horses, horses and coats and stuff like that, baby coats they're down still there in the mares. Uh -huh. But there are several horses that you've got for sale for Paul Simmons, yes. don't you? Uh -huh. yeah, let's look at them because they, they, he's got some beautiful horses. That right there is a honors that's out of a full sister to Black Jen. These coats just been handled about, about two or three weeks, you know. But I mean, they are very smart, and that's a pretty good cross right there with arms. Yes, and it is. Of black gin. That's you a know? pretty bird thing right there. I yeah. was watching him out there walking when I was out there, and uh, Jesse does a good job. Yeah, Jesse does a good job. He's real easy and calm with them, and everything. We're gonna after the celebration, we'll start kind of getting them used to the saddle and everything. But now. Anybody that's looking for something. Just come out and take a take, take a, a good hard look. Take, take a look. We've got some we got quite a few of different varieties. That one there is a full brother that Patrick Mahomes. That's honors out of a jazz man mare. And that Patrick Mahomes is a known horse in the show ring. Oh yeah. So he yeah. won his share of the ribbons. But now that's another. That's another good coat right there. 
Well, at least up there, you, you've got a indoor where you got a long hallway and then you got that arena. Arena that you that, ride during the weather you, and all yeah. that stuff here, you know. So that's, and that's, that's good. That helps a lot. That one there is a Slim Shady. Is out of, I'm in, a back in command mayor. Well, I know when Paul was showing them to me, he says, I'd kind of like to keep this one. I want to keep that one, yes. but I would sell him. <laughs> but now I really like this one over here. So he, he's kind of skeptical on the ones he wants to sell but, and the, the ones he doesn't. But you know, on these coats like this here, when you, you know, them well-bred coats like that, that helps you out a lot. You know, oh, yeah. especially when you got some, some known mares and stuff like that and the coats. And each one of these mares had good coats and stuff like that. Well, I can tell you they're pretty. And that's a black gin right there. And that, um, that black gin is out of a, a honors mare. Well, I tell you what, I looked at all of them. They're a bunch yeah. of good looking, good looking coats. And let me see what else we got here. I know what we do need to talk about is the celebration inspections. So we got to, everybody needs to remember the violations, what they are, and to take care of everything. Because you got sensitivity, you got scar rules, you got everything well, under the sun. The inspection area, the handler gives the horse's back number mm -hmm. and class number for which he's been entered. The first part of the inspection process is thermography, looking for any abnormal heat patterns. Also, we have to worry about the measurements. Yes. Because these measurements are vital. That's Dr. Bennett. He's acting as a USDA rep of the MO, taking up the modern. All right. Now, that just shows the beginning. They do a sensitivity check. They do all this stuff. Thermography starts it off. If, if the government when they show up and what they decide to do. Sometimes they don't do that. Yes. But one thing that really bothers me is when the shoeing violations, because even though that's an HPA violation, it, it's kind of a, a iffy yeah, violation. It is, because you know, all the measuring tapes don't measure the same. I know, they showed that. Yeah. They proved that, that they didn't. So my suggestion to everybody is have your tape with you that you measured with. Yes. And and that that will help a lot, but you have to have them on a flat surface. Yes. Now, I've seen them measure them in the sawdust, in the shavings, in the gravel. That's not the way it's supposed to be done. No. It's supposed to be done on a flat surface. surface. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing to watch. So you get accurate measuring right. from it, yes. Another thing that bothers me, and everybody can look this up, look up foreign substance and what's on the list because there's a lot of things on that foreign substance list that is actually used to benefit the horse, kind of like us. One of them that really surprised me was sulfur. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got barns that use sulfur, sulfur water. water. Uh -huh. And we've gone through all this before, but I'm just looking, I want this celebration to be good. I've watched our inspectors all year long. If someone's out, they, they're finding them. They don't need someone else to pointed out, but we just need to make sure that trainers, and I know the trainers not knowingly going to take a horse up there, that they don't believe passes the inspection. Yeah. But too many times that has not been the case. One year we had veterinarians inspecting horses and they still found horses out. This year I'm having my horse will be inspected before he ever goes to celebration. Yeah. And there's a lot of other. Uh, you just got to, like that one part per million, other sources of camp contamination. So these are things we all got to worry about because we're coming up on the most important show of the year. Yes. This is where our horse needs to shine. Those that we're showing there are things that are considered foreign substance, Subs yeah. that they have foreign substance ingredients in them. And I tell you, the the inspection now, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing it over 35 years. 
four years. And I'm gonna say it's better inspection than both HIOs now than it ever been since the whole time I ever been showing horses. It is good. I'm, the I'm ones that's them. checking horses now is more mm -hmm. thorough and everything else. And I mean, I've sat back there watching them the last show. Most of my time was spent in the inspection area, just sitting there watching them inspecting in war trucks. Yes. And uh, I had different people. Well, some of the trainers said, asked me what I was doing. I told my studying to be a DQP. <laughs> they said, get out of there. <laughs> but now, like I say, right now, they have the best inspectors that they, they ever had in the industry. Consider to me, that's my opinion. Well, you know, and I, I, think, I have to I agree. Think they are. I know everybody, you'll never agree with every time they find a horse out. But I do believe by watching them that Honestly speaking, if there's a horse that's out, the DQPs will find it. Yes. If, a, if a VMO comes in behind them and says, no, this horse is out, then I've got to question that VMO. Yes. I've got to question their intentions. I mean, it just, because I don't see it. And I've, I've watched them that inspect horse after horse after horse. And when the other night they got one when he came out in in War Trace, he was his chain was too heavy. And they said, well, if, you know, the guy was very sorrowful. He he said, no, I said that chain's right. But they weighed it, they wiped it off, weighed it again. It was still over. He got a two week violation. Yes. And what what I'm getting at is this. Our DQPs do their job. Yeah, they do their job. They do I their job say. honestly. And up until this year, they were trained, but these were trained by the USDA. The majority of the inspectors we got now were trained by the USDA. If they trained them correctly to do their job and they're doing it the way that they were trained to do it, then for a VMO to come in there and start nitpicking are trying to find something wrong, especially this bone on bone. Now, we've yes. done caught them digging in the pocket. We videoed exactly how some of them will use the bone on bone. That, to me, that that is fixing a horse show. Yes. And this is a sporting event. So in my, my interpretation, if they come in intentionally trying to turn horses down, then they're, they're trying to fix a horse show, yeah. and that's against the law. I so, believe you wouldn't have no problem with the VMOs coming in and checking horses if they had checked the horses like they taught the DQPs how to check. And so when we go to horse shows, I mean, we don't have no problem taking our horse up to that DQP. None. We feel like, you know, we're going to do it. And if, they find, if they call you out, they're going to call you out, regardless of who you are. If you have 30 horses that you're showing and you ain't showing them with two horses, they're going to treat everybody the same way. That's it. And I truly believe that with all my heart. You know, I've never seen them. Me, me too. Intentionally, I mean, I've never seen them target a horse. I've never seen them wait and then converge on a horse. And I've never seen them, not once, have they ever tried to stop me from videoing. So... The way I look at it, if they were hiding anything, they wouldn't want me video and they wouldn't want me watching. Yes. And, and that's the way I feel about it. I, I don't mean to step on anybody's toes. I don't mean to upset the, the government. But what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And if they're wrong, they're wrong. And some of the reasons they use, and we've showed them before, yes. like three cells thick for a scar, I don't buy it. I mean, that, that, that's ridiculous for it was that the BMO ever said that. And I felt him flinch. If the horse moved, he moved. Yeah. But for you to say he felt him get tense, well, they get ready to give me a shot, I get tense. Well, the end thing it is, you got to, it's an animal. It's an, it is. It, it is an animal. And all you do when you take that horse through inspection, all you can do is, is up to that person that's checking that horse and that, and, and that horse at that point in time when you turn them cones and go get checked. That's However, it. Because you take a horse, a horse will flinch when a fly yes. lands on his body. <laughs> and it. his whole body shakes. And they'll also, when they've sent something, they, they, they that's, react. That's what I'm saying. So, so you know. That's it. 
All right, we've got some interviews, and we're just going to let these interviews go, buddy, because they, I've been interviewed over at the Tweeba Splash. I was correct. I called it Sizzler, and the young lady said, this is not Sizzler. This is the Splash. <laughs> Get it right. I said, okay, I will. All right, so here we go. Here's some interviews with some young ladies. I'm here at Belfast, Tennessee, in the Summer Splash, right? Yes. I am with Georgia Hazelwood and Clara Thompson. And I believe, Georgia, you're going to be showing tonight, yes, right? Yes, sir. All right, what, what class are you going to show in? I'll be in? showing in the Youth Model, the Youth Wingland, and the Youth Show Pleasure. And you're not going to show, but you're going to cheer. Yes. But now you're a member of the board, right? Yes, sir, you're, I am. Okay, t tell me what your functions are. Um, I usually just help at horse shows, and I do show on the side as well when I don't have to help. Okay. And you, I believe you got a scholarship? Yes, sir. Okay, now, and where are you going to school? Clemson University. All right. Now, what about you? I go to Spring Hill High School. Okay, you're still in high school. Yes, sir. Your daddy's going to keep you there as long as he can, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, All right. sir. Well, t tell me both of you, why do you like the Tennessee walking horse, in your own words? Um, I just love this breed. I've been in this industry for about two years, and I just fell in love with it. It's something that I just have always been close to liking, and I fox hunt on the side, and this is one thing that I always love doing. What, what about you? Well, I was born in the industry. I started with halter colts, and well, a lot of my friends show, so mm -hmm. really enjoy it. All right, well, let me ask you a question, because this is something, if people walked up to you and they said, why should I get involved with a Tennessee walking horse? What would you tell them? It's fun. <laughs> well, we well, know it's fun. They, well, you get a lot of experiences and it's different. Um, I think just the camaraderie of the whole industry. Anywhere you show, there's always gonna be somebody that's cheering you on no matter what it is. And it's an adrenaline rush for a really good horse. All right. Now, I know I know you show halter, you ride, yes, sir. you do it all. Yes, so sir. you you show equitation? No, sir, not no. No equitation. More. So you graduated from that, so now you just show. Yes, sir. All right. And you're gonna show tonight, but are you gonna show at the celebration? Oh, yes, sir, we are. Um I'll be showing my halter babies. We're not gonna be showing my show pleasure first, but we'll show our Wingland and our Yearling and I'll show for the Robert Nelms with his model horse. Oh, okay. And what about you? I will not be showing at the celebration. Won't this be year. showing the celebration. Yes, sir. But you're both going to the celebration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell everybody what's so great about the celebration. That that's something that's really dear to everybody's heart. <laughs> um, probably the donuts. <laughs> Definitely the donuts. <laughs> you're right. Everybody likes the donuts. They like the BFW booth. But all in all, when you're at the celebration, what do you like most of all? Probably showing, you know, this year we're getting the Marinfold class and the Big Ring, and me and my father will be showing in it, so that's probably my favorite thing. Just showing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look, I'm going to be cheering for you. All right, All right. thank now, you. But you're not going to show at the celebration? No, sir. But you're getting ready to go to college, right? Yes, sir, Clean but team. I will be coming back for the celebration. No, she ain't going to miss the celebration. I ain't going to miss the celebration. <laughs> she right, better well, not. I, well, I'm going to wish you luck tonight. Thank you. And I, you're going to be helping, so I'm going to wish you help. You, you <laughs> Good luck to you, okay? Thank you, yes, sir. All right, thank y'all for sharing it with me. Yes, sir. All thank right. you. I am still here at the Summer Splash, and we are in Belfast, Tennessee. I'm with Corbin Parker, another youth that's showing over here today. Corbin, what are you going to show in, buddy? Uh, youth Show Pleasure and the Medallion. A medallion. Performance Medallion. And you also show Equitation. Yes, sir. I want to shake your hand. <laughs> I've been saying we need to get the young guys in the Equitation. Do you like it? I've been doing it for a few years. Yeah, it's fun. It, it's a lot different, though, isn't it? A lot. You don't get to ride over like them trainers do. Yeah. And it, it makes it makes a big difference. Teaches you how to ride right. Teach you, that, that that's a good way to put it. Teach you how to ride right. Well, what are, you're going to show today in show pleasure. Mm -hmm. Now, which horse are you going to show? Uh, his name's across the border. Across the border. Mm -hmm. How many times have you showed him? Once. Once. In Fentanyl. How'd you do? Not too good. <laughs> Just had a good ride. Had a good ride. Hey, good ride is the main thing. Yep. What made you get into walking horses? I always wanted, always had horses. My grandfather bred walking horses. 
And then I just wanted to start showing and it went from there. I started taking lessons with Alice Klein and then started showing. Right. How old are you? 15. 15. 16. 16? Yeah. You got your license yet? No. Working on it? I had COVID the birthday, oh. my week of my birthday. And your mother's over here shaking her head, no license, no license. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You, you'll make it. I, yep. Everybody everybody does. All right, where are you from? Frank Ewan, Tennessee. Frank Ewan. Mm -hmm. About That's 30 a, minutes from here. But there's a little bitty town, but I remember well when I'm back on the road, I'd always remember when I get to Frank Ewan, I was almost to Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew that. Yeah. So what classes, what, what, what number of classes are you? Uh... 18 and 33. Well, you're going to be here all night long. <laughs> yeah. And that's the way it normally goes, though. But yeah. it's fun. All it's right, fun. what else What else do you do? Other sports? No. I just got my horses. That's just it. Just got your horse. That's enough, ain't it? Yeah. Keeps you busy. Well, Corbin, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for taking time to talk to us. No and problem. good luck tonight. Thank you. We're still here at the Summer Splash, and I am with the president of the Youth Tweeba Board, Hardison Green. Hardison, what's it like? Uh, it's a lot, a lot of responsibility getting everything going together, sir, but uh, I love it. I've been doing this is my second year as president, and I'm, I just love seeing younger people do stuff with horses. Well, tell me this. What got you involved in horses? Well, uh, probably my mom, I'd have to say. My, uh, my mom's Nancy Green, Nancy Beach, if you know the Beach mm -hmm. family. My great-grandfather, Steve Beach, S.W. Beach, is named after the uh -huh. field. Right. So I'm a seventh, sixth generation horse rider. They just keep on coming. <laughs> when are you getting married? Well, no. <laughs> we're we're going to keep Long them going time. while we got, what we, you know, that's a good line right there. You got some, S.W. Beach was a person that really and truly built help build this industry a lot. So I know you're awful proud now. You, you got a couple of uncles that, that, that uh, Bobby and Ray and, but they're all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> they are, no, they're, good, they're good friends. I'm just pulling you late because I, I know them both very well. Talk to Bobby quite often. Now, did Bobby teach you anything about saddles? Uh, not much about saddles. We just play golf. <laughs> yes, but now, Bobby would be good at playing golf. Yes, All right, sir. now, do you show, too? Uh, no, sir, I'm not. I don't show as much. I'm more behind the scenes, kind of just helping with shows. And uh, I like to trail ride, though. That's about all I do. Well, that, hey, that, that's the fun part. Yes, sir. But tell me this. If another youth your age or a little younger comes up and asks you about the walking horse, what's the one thing that you can say to them that gets them to wanting to ride a horse. Get her. Uh, honestly, there's nothing like it. I mean, it's, you feel so big and high up there on a big walking horse, you know, you're stepping, I, I don't know, it's just, a, there's nothing like the feel, and that's all I'd tell them. <laughs> well, it, I can tell you, I love it. Yes, sir. I, and most people, especially young and old, it, it's just, there's always a walking horse for everybody. Yes, sir. So what, what's your plans for the future? Um, I plan on attending college next year. I'm a senior this year. Uh, not really sure where I want to go, but looking into it right now. A lot of good colleges out there. Yes, sir. But I want to wish you all the luck in the world. And good talking to good you. Talking to you. And good luck with the show tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> We're still here at the Summer Splash, and I am with Leilani Landon. We was, you're going to show tonight, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, where are you going to show in? Um, I'm showing in the youth model and then the youth pointlings class. You swing. Do you ride, too? I do. How often do you ride? Um, about four or five times a week. Four or five times a what, week? What classes do you show at in the riding classes? Um, so I show performance horses, equitation horses, and light shot horses. Equitation. Who's your equitation trainer? Uh, me and my mom. You, your mom? Well, it's, hey. I coach my sons. So I know what what it is. <laughs> is she rough on you? She she's a little harsh on me, but I made it. You let her? I, yeah. <laughs> it's, easy, it's easier to go along with it. All right. What made you get in with walking horses? So my mama grew up with them, and just being brought up with them kind of just got me into horses. And huh? ever since I was little, I've been showing uh, lead line, model, winglands all my life. Just love it, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. What grade are you in school? I'm in tenth grade. Tenth grade. And how old are you? I'm 15. 15 years old. Fixing to be 16 for long, from what I heard. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. You showing the celebration? I am. What class is? The youth model class. Youth model class. All right. Now I'm going to ask you a very important question. Okay. If someone walked up to you, another youth your age, and said, "Why should I get involved with walking horses?" What's your answer? 
the community. The people are just so welcoming and if you ever need anything, just ask any trainer from all warm up, they'll give it to you. Whether it be electrical tape, a saddle, a whip, whatever, they what, got it. Whatever you need, they'll help you. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the ride on the horse? The ride on the horse, uh, I prefer riding walking horses over stock horses just because stock horses with their trotter so so choppy and it bounces you around and throws you around just so much jarring. The walking horse is just smooth as can be. You know, a young lady from Colorado once told me after she rode her first walking horse, she said it was like ice skating. It is. It's it's just the smoothest glide you've ever had. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to also wish you luck tonight. Well, thank so you. I believe your mother will be over here cheering for you. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tell you what, those kids, oh, every one of them had their thing. Oh, yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm going to let you do your job. We'll be right back after these commercials. <laughs> <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. Agenda Win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breathe your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. J&J Stables asks for your support by saying yes to Sir and Jeremy Jensen in the two-year-old stallion division during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. Say yes to Sir. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Well, but Jerry, we've got some more interviews because I spent quite a bit of time down there at Splash just talking to the youth. They uh, they got a lot of good youth involved oh, yeah. with the walking horse. So let's go back to the interviews. We have another Tweeba member here, and your name is? Finley Grace Brooks. Finley Grace. And you're 
going to show tonight? Yes, sir. What, what, what class are you going to show in? I'm going to show in the Marin Fall and the Novice Weanling, Novice Yearling, and the Youth Medallion Performance. Uh -huh. I bet you do equitation too, don't you? I used to. Uh, graduated out of that, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. But what, what all do you show? Um, I show padded and I show a uh, model with five time world champion Lewis in the outfield. Mm -hmm. And I show in the youth show pleasure with Silver Patron and the youth performance medallion with Cash Reaction. All right, that's, that's good. Now, are you showing the celebration this year? Yes, sir. What class are you going to show out there? I'm showing in the youth model and the youth 12 to 17 show pleasure. Okay. And how long have you been? doing the horses? I've been showing since I was four, so this is my 10 year anniversary. Oh, you're 14? Yes, sir. Okay. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Where do you go to school? Cornersville High School. Cornersville High School. Y'all have a good horse show there every yes. year. You ever eat any of the fried pies? I have not. Oh, you, girl, you live in <laughs> Cornersville and you ain't ate a fried pie. We got to do something about this girl here. But they're great. Now, they really are. So tonight you're going to show and then you're going to show at the celebration. If somebody walks up and they say, why should I get involved with a walking horse, what are you going to tell them? Um, I'm going to tell them that it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of people who have been really nice to me over the years and that I have a bunch of friends that have uh, just helped me a whole lot. And um, all the horses, they're so versatile. I mean, I can watch one horse go from being a padded horse down to a flat shod or from flat shod to be padded, and they're so versatile, and it's one of my favorite breeds. All right, do you ever do versatility? I have not. That, that's going to be fun. I, I kind of like it all yeah. from Starkly. Well, I really t appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I am with another Tweeba member, and this one is Peyton Nams, who is noted for showing coats and every other thing. Yes, sir. You, know, you, you ride and all, don't you? I used to ride more when I was younger, but I do more leading now. You like the lead? Yes, sir. Well, I watched you. I forget which show it was, but it seemed like every time I looked up, you were going after a blue ribbon. <laughs> I tried. Now, so I got to watching you when you come in and telling the guy standing next to me, that little lady right there is going to win. <laughs> I know without asking this, but I'm going to ask anyway. Okay. How did you get involved with a Tennessee walking horse? Just like through my dad and stuff, because he's always been involved with it. So I used to do a lot, because and I used to normally show a lot of what he does. So we just kind of show a bunch of the same and do it together. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, I'm going to share something with you. Okay. I interviewed your father many, many years ago, and matter of fact, I don't believe you were born yet, but I remember your mother told me. Jerry, take it slow because he's nervous as a goat. <laughs> now, I remember her telling me that. <laughs> and is he still nervous? I think he's nervous sometimes. <laughs> well, it, it, hey, that, that's just the way it is. Yes, sir. Well, I know I, I remember when you were born. I watched your mother push that buggy around with both of you in it. <laughs> I mean, that, that, do you get a push up? You ever going to push a buggy like that? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right, now, what are you showing tonight? I'm showing a weanling, a yearling, and then a model horse. And then a model horse. Yes, sir. All right. Now, what are you showing at celebration? Because I know you're going. There's never a celebration in the years that I've been involved that I didn't see a names there. A weanling for sure, and then maybe a yearling. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Now, what grade are you in now? 11. You're in 11. Yes, How old sir. are you? 16. 16. Have you got the license yet? Yes, sir. Now she can take herself to the horse show. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't need help anymore. You're better at this than your dad was. Oh, now, thank you. I had to, you know, getting your dad to say something was like trying to pull a whale out of the water, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, he's kind of he, shy sometimes. You know, he just didn't, uh, him and Charlie Green, neither one of them liked to talk. <laughs> I think the camera scares him today. Probably. But you're doing good. Now, <laughs> that's good. Thank you. All right, now, what's your plan for the rest of the year? For just this year? Yeah. Um. I don't know. I'll just show when my dad tells me to. <laughs> just whenever he tells you to, <laughs> yes, you go. Sir. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I want to wish you luck tonight. Okay. And I know you always bring good horses. I've seen your dad do it for years. Good luck to you, and thanks for taking Thank time out. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am here with Isaac and Jordan, the Dotson Brothers Stables. Now, which one of y'all shows the most? I do. He does? Yes, sir. You gave in awful easy. He won't let you show? Well, I, I can show this is my second year here. This is his third. Oh, oh he got seniority. Yes, sir. Are, are you the oldest? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, what about, how old are you? I'm 14. Okay. I'm 14. Oh, you're 14 too? Yes, sir. 
How can you be the oldest? Um, older than him by six months. Six months. Now, now we're now we're cooking. All yes, right. sir. All right. What classes do you show in? Uh, I show in youth, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just youth. I show in youth wings, pretty much. Youth wings. Yes, sir. Uh, how did y'all get involved? Now, this is this right here is a gimme question. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm a Witherspoon, and my family's been doing this for plenty of years and uh, I've been doing this for a long time then uh, I asked Mr. Dodson could I help him show for a weanling and then uh, you know I he said yeah he got a colt for me uh, I came out there uh, basically I didn't know what she was doing and she didn't know what I was doing so it basically we had a bond together and that bond helped both of us and then I showed uh, I showed her last year here, and I showed her two years ago here, and I did really well with her, and I'm proud of it. I don't blame you. I would. But now you're a Witherspoon. Yes, sir. Not a Dotson. Yes, sir. I, I stand corrected, but now you're a Dotson. Yes, sir. I'm a Witherspoon. You're a Witherspoon, too? Yes, sir. Well, the, the Dotson just brought y'all in and doing it, huh? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, okay. T tell me about you. Well, earlier this year in, what, Jane? Somewhere around January. Well, last year, about this time, I started. I came up here, and first show, my first show, started working here was here at Belfast. And you know, I asked Jaron Dotson, you know, could I come up here help them work colts and show? And he invited me on. And from then, I've been showing from last, from this year, my first year showing. So that's pretty well how I started. I tell you what, the Dotson brothers are known for their winglings. Yes, sir. And I mean, they train them, buddy, they they get it done. Yes, sir. Y'all enjoy it? Yes, yes sir. Right. Well, let me ask you, and either one of you can answer this. If someone walked up to you and asked you, why should I get involved with the walking horses, what would you tell them? Well, they're, they're beautiful creatures, you know. Their gait is beautiful. I mean, they're not bad horses. All, you know, because mainly people think it's animal cruelty and it's really not that's just some that's what some people do that's not the whole it's not the whole uh the uh how do i say it uh whole industry yeah industry yeah i understand it, yeah. i understand what you mean and people like think it's bad for us to do what they do but they that's a natural gate and even for the weanlands and the yearlings, they, they have a natural gait, the way that they stride. And it's not about how uh, how people train, and how it's about the fun of it. And that's really why I like doing it. What about you, young man? Well, first I would ask them, why wouldn't you? And then another question is, I would ask, what do you not like about it? And then what really I would tell them is, I would just say, you know, the animals, like he said, they're beautiful creatures and you know, when you show, you don't, you show for competition, but same time you show for fun. You don't just want to show, to show, tell people laugh in their face when you beat them or they laugh in your face when you beat them, when they beat you. So, I mean, I'm saying, you know, I, I guess they should join because of the fun of it and the everyday experiences. Good sportsmanship. Yes, sir. That's it. Well, fellas, y'all showing tonight, I assume. Yes, sir. I want to wish both of you luck. I want to thank you for taking time out. But I blame you. They're about to get started over here. So good luck to you, and thank you for taking time out to talk. I tell you what, Jerry, you just made a good statement about these kids are involved in the horses. Yes. They're, they're at horse shows having a good time, enjoying themselves. Instead of out doing, doing not getting in running. trouble and whatever. I mean, this, it, and it, that, that's the good part about it. We're going to watch some victory passes. How's that? That'll work. Let's just. Red carpet. There's Twisted with Honors and Allison Armstrong. She was a reserve winner. And she had already won one, and we're going to see her in celebration. I tell oh, you yeah. what. That's nice. That's a real good horse. I, 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 that horse right there is going to be hard to beat, buddy. Yes. It's a good horse. Real good horse. Mm -hmm. 
Belfast. <laughs> Here's Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware. Her owner, Tom Ware, who happens to be her grandfather. Oh, yeah. Lebanon Underwinter. <laughs> That's a nice horse. Yes, it is. Her I'll older see. sister showed it, too. I would say you look forward to seeing them at Celebration, too. Oh, yeah. Right there is a champ in Eli Cunningham. Yep. I like that young man. I do, too. I like him a lot. He's, he's going to be on Celebration News with us. He got a good family. Yes, he does. I like watching the youth show. Oh, I, I love watching. I, mean, them. I, I really do. Right there, Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dorch. I tell you what, that horse is a lot bigger than what I actually yeah. thought he was. He really is. Oh, Robert, he's very excited about this horse. Oh, yes, he is. He, he's is. Good. he, he told me he, that he was going to have a good time. Yes. This was a good matchup for him with this him and this horse right here. Oh, yes. They'd be very competitive in that class. Well, he said he didn't know whether Bruce would sell it or not, but he was going to try, and Bruce said, yeah. Bruce had done one a bunch with him. Yeah. Dox had won. Right here she is, title sweepstakes in Macy Ware. Her, her grandfather, Tom Ware. That young class might be just as good to watch as Tell me about any it. other classes that's out there. Cause they got a bunch of top horses they're going to be showing against each other there. You got that right, buddy. A bunch of top horses. <laughs> Them kids ain't taking a back seat no, to nobody. No, they're not. They're coming forward. I am Bentley and Becky Might for Jerry and Becky Might. Amateur two-year-old stallion. Oh, Becky's a good rider. Yes, she is. She's been riding for a good while. Right there's Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs. But I believe Jake has bought that horse now. Matter of fact, I know he has. He, he told me he bought it. Now let's go down in history. The only one to beat I am Jose. That's it. It's a fact. Yep. Here's Fed Bill, Blue Ribbon. You know, they had a pretty good horse show over there. I am Chewbacca and Jimmy McConnell for Jones and Richards. And that one right there sold. Yeah. It's all so quick. Right here, special by Jose and Jordan Dempsey for Charles Dempsey. Or Charles, Charles Glegger. Yeah. <laughs> He'll shoot me. There's that amateur four year old stallion. Oh, he's uh, selling a lot of his property, getting rid yeah. of some of his horses. He says he's downsizing. He keeps throwing his age up to me. <laughs> but now they, Bedford had a good show. Oh yeah, 
Phil 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 had a good show. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll go to, uh, after you do your job, we'll go to commercial, we'll end up more trace. We'll be right back after these commercials. <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. I can get you one, so uh, get your cat off from me or sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance horses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Cal in her second 11 and under class. Ali Jo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard Da Haas and once again ask for your support. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, welcome back. We're going to War Trace now. Yeah. They had a good show they down there, buddy. They did. And the rain hold off. Yeah, it, it kind of split. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Right there's I'm Coach Cal and Ally Joe Jacobs. You know, that, show, that horse showed tw two times. Back to back nights. Mm-hmm. Well, no, it showed it showed Thursday night, then back Saturday night. There went Cal Lentzel. You know, that's a great place to have a horse show down oh, yeah. in North Trace. Now, it really is. It when is, it, a good place. is. When it's not wet, shoot. That's where we used to have all our trail rides, good trail rides. And here's honors to Mr. Guest and Jennifer Pendleton. I tell you what, Virginia Stewart renamed that horse in honor of her grandfather. Yes. Yeah. Which I just think is a, a great tribute. Oh yeah, that is. Jennifer's a good rider. Oh yeah, Jennifer is a good rider. Very polite. She yes. got us now saying, 
Thank you and please. Oh, she's a good person <laughs> now. She is. She's, she's just as nice as she can be. Yes, she is. And right here, Jose is Ritzy Hawk and Emma Black. Yeah. I that's tell you what, now, she, she's a fine young lady, too. She is. But that's another tribute to their one or dead, or stepdad. Yeah. But that's just another tribute to Virginia letting these young people ride her horses. Virginia very good about that now. She is. Yes, she is. Ritzy Hawk. Right here is Park Performance Amateur winner. I am, you know, he won a state class, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I mean, that class was loaded. I do mean loaded. Good show, real good show. Well, I, that was it. I want to remind everybody the celebration the first Saturday night. We got a band coming in there, Flat River. Uh, I have put a video that they did with the McCrary sisters out on Facebook, and I got another that I'm going to put out that they did with the Gatlin brothers. Okay. They, uh, th these guys are good, but they're going to play the first Saturday night at uh, right beside the VFW club. I want to thank Jake Jacobs, Allison Armstrong, and Shane Shefflett, or Shane, Shane Porterfield yeah. Shefflett. I got the pictures on my mind mm -hmm. now. Shane Porterfield, they're the ones that help sponsor the Flat River Band to come in to play for everybody. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's a great yep. group. Uh, everybody will be sitting around. They can get them some pinto beans and cornbread and listen to some good country music. Yeah right next to that booth right there because that's where everybody will be that's right you were right i'm gonna that. tell you you can't beat that place no, right you there can't. for food you can't beat it the you bfw can't. you can't beat it's just it. good get you a good meal there yep. and I, you can go get you one of them donuts for dessert mm-hmm them things are heavy son <laughs> <laughs> they heavy they are all right we're going to get ready for next week where we're going to have the contender show that's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. Nothing but contenders. We're going all out for the celebration. And we've got a bunch of them because it's going to be a great celebration, I promise. Yes, sir, it is. If Jerry Williams going to be there, you know it's going to be oh, great. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. But I'd like to invite everybody to come out there and visit us uh, out yeah. there at the Denali Farms with Thomas Seymour and Tiffany and at Sand Creek. Everybody. Yeah, everybody come all out right. there and come visit us. See you all next week. See you. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.